Hey everybody, it's me Margaret and I am here celebrating Knit Crate today. Now as you might remember, I have a, had a really crazy second semester from January till May as it was Thomas's senior year and I was very involved in his school and so now I'm playing catch up with my life. Plus there were other family things that were thrown in there too, but I'll spare you all the details. But I've been going through some of the knit crates that I got over that period of time. And what I have decided to do is to open all of these. Some I've shown you before. Actually, I think I've shown you all of them as a matter of fact. But I usually do some giveaways. And I didn't have an opportunity to take the time to do that because that involves packaging it up and, you know, it's just a big deal, another errand that I had to do. I'm ready to do some giveaways this time. I'm going to do two, but I'm going to let the winners choose which ones they want from these five. Now, I have learned that I have been spending more on shipping than I had to. <laughs> I won't be sending them to you inside the actual knit crate box. I'm going to take all the contents out and put them in an envelope because I just recently found out that that's a lot cheaper as far as mailing goes. So that's why I'm doing two at one time. So let's, let's look at them. Let's see what you could choose from. Oh wait. There's something else. I'm always bragging on Knit Crate because I think it's a fantastic company. They're constantly making improvements and you know that I'm always saying learn, grow, change, improve, evolve, and that's exactly what they do with their company and I love that. Um, this happens to be some of the Knit Crate yarn that I used. This was um, Audine Wools was the manufacturer because you get different brands. The, the surprise package comes and it'll be different brands. They always make sure that they go together. So even though one was a stripe, as you could see, and the other one was this variegated um, mottled color, I guess you could call that, they go well together. They're manufactured to go together. So of course they come with the patterns. We have always talked about that. I didn't use the patterns because there's no Knit Crate police that says you have to do <laughs> what they send you but it is always high quality yarn. Well, one of the new things that they've added that is just gonna make you really happy is you get to fill out some information, um, sort of a profile, I guess, that says what colors you prefer. Apparently, some people found that they were getting sort of the same family of colors, and I think it was just by total random chance. I don't think they looked down the list and say, oh, I'm gonna send this person this color until now. Now they're paying attention to your color preferences. So so I thought that was great news. Now of course you've got different types of knit crates that you could subscribe to and I've got the basic version here and you'll see how, how they differ as we look at all these five together as a matter of fact. But this suits me just fine. I like it a lot. But you might like sock or something like that. As with any new Knit Crate subscription, you can get 20% off your first box by using a code. And you could use my code if you want to. I'll put it in the link, link below. It's SHEEP20, in case you can remember that without having to look. But um, yeah, why not take 20% off? If not, use my code. Go find someone else that you like that might be a Knit Crate influencer and use theirs. Regardless, don't pay full price on the first box. Okay, now let's look and Side. All right, this was the February Knit Crate. Gosh, every time I open it, I get so excited. All right, this is Audine Wools. Now, this is the same brand that I used last time. It's actually by Knit Crate. Remember, it's all hand dyed. I think this is beautiful. This one is 50% alpaca, 30% merino wool, and 20% nylon DK weight. Just beautiful. And as usual, you get this beautiful, it's like a magazine with the different patterns in it. There's the knit pattern. No, that's the crochet pattern. And the knit pattern. Okay, so that is February. Now we're looking at March. Ah, yes. Beautiful. This is Knitology by Knit Crate. And this is 75 merino wool, 15% silk, and 10% cashmere. Fingering weight, 400 yards. And it's really nice. 
Now you only get one skein in here, but you also get a bag, a zipper top bag on here. So that's an additional benefit. And here is a knit headband and scarf. And it tells you all about how they chose the colors and different things like that. Where's the crochet? There's the crochet, which is pretty. And it'll tell you a little bit about the designers as well with every one of these neat little magazines right here. So you may like to have this gorgeous skein. What is this? From March. And what did April bring? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I love this one. Okay, now this, it is this kind of mint green color here, but it, it's variegated. It's kind of um, different shades of the same color. Audine wools again, which I can attest to. And this is 85% merino wool, 15% cashmere, DK weight. And I really wrestled with myself about giving this one away, but since I haven't done a giveaway in a while, I am going to put it in there for the choices. That's really pretty. All right, let's see. So you had all these different uh, colorways that could have come to you. Okie dokie. There we have the crochet pattern. And there is the knit pattern. So that is from April. What was the color on this? It's called Leaf Eater. <laughs> and now we move on to May. Oh, I just love that. Now look, here we have one skein again, but you get extras. You never get just one plain skein of yarn in the basic knit crate package. There will always be something besides if, if you don't get two, so that the value is the same. Citrus Squeeze, Knitology Cozy Sock Yarn. This is 75% Superwash Merino Wool, 15% Nylon, and 10% Cashmere Fingering Weight. Oh man, this is absolutely gorgeous. Citrus Squeeze. All right, the extras are these ladybug buttons and a stitch marker from exchangingfire.com. That's cute. And here's the patterns at a glance. You've got a knit pattern, squeezed citrus. You've got the crochet pattern called magic socks, a knit pattern called dancing butterfly, and a knit bonus would be, it's a PDF download only. And they'll give you the code and everything you need to download this, but um, it would be that cowl in case you don't like knitting socks. That is awesome. That is really pretty. And this one is the May Knit Crate. And our fifth one is June. And I went crazy for this one. I just love it. Well, there's not a single one I don't love so far. Okay, do you see how this is sort of a little chain yarn? I don't know what the actual type, what that's called, but like tiny little chains. It feels so good. Vitalana. Is that how you say that? By Knit Crate. The colorway is called Tiger Lily. 48% merino wool, 20% baby alpaca, 32% organic cotton, and it's DK weight. And we are talking my style. I just love this one. So you get two of those. Oh, look, and a little measuring thing. I haven't looked at this one yet, can you tell? I just peeped in it. I didn't even realize this was in there. So that's handy to keep in your purse when you're shopping. And the patterns. OK, 
Okay, so the knit pattern here is called Rose of Lavender, and then the crochet pattern here, Glowing After Dune. There's also a sock pattern. Of course, that's if you get the sock up nosed. I don't know. Oh, look, here we go. Remember changing, growing, evolving. Have you noticed we've begun including an extra something special in every crate? Starting this month and moving forward, all crates will include an extra. So that's why we got the extra. Membership crate this month has the sweetest fabric covered tape measure, $3 US dollars that is, while our sock membership crate featured a de delectable macaroon notions box, which was $6. That is, oh my word, Nick Crate, you're just blowing me away. That is really, really pretty. All right, so the deal is this. Not only are you getting patterns that you can use with the yarn that you received in this month's thing, but you've got like bonus patterns as well. So while this particular box didn't have sock yarn in it, you still have a really neat pattern that you could use with your own sock yarn, or maybe some sock yarn you got from another one of your knit crates. Because like I said, this basic crate comes with you just never know what you're going to get. Sock yarn one month, you might get a, a DK or even an Aran or whatever. You just don't know. It's a surprise, which to me, that's what I like about its subscription boxes. It's a surprise. So because my videos have been few and far between as of late, I'm really thanking my subscribers. So I'm going to limit this to 24 hours from when this video goes live. So what you'll need to do is put a comment in the comment section of this video. Don't put it anywhere else because I won't see it. And plus I use some special software that helps me to pull the random names from the list. So comments in the comment section below. I'd like for you to tell me exactly what's on your hooks or needles right this very minute. What project are you working on? Just put it in the comment section below. I will go ahead and pull those at the end of 24 hour period that this has been live and, and then I'll get them in the mail. There will be two winners. So uh, thanks for watching and thanks for sticking with me and I hope to have some more videos up on a more regular place, basis now. I'm doing more sewing. I've got an embroidery machine I've been having fun with and of course I'll never stop playing with my yarn. So thanks for watching. Good luck. Talk soon. Bye.